All right now, all right now, we're gonna start this over, you know, and do this again, you know what I'm saying? How y'all doing, you know what I'm saying, out there in uh, the television land, you know, land of YouTube, you know what I'm saying? How y'all doing, you know what I'm saying? All y'all platforms, how y'all doing? This your boy, God, you know what I'm saying, sitting here getting ready to listen to T.D. Jakes. You know, this has been up since Sunday, but I couldn't listen to it, you know what I'm saying? I tried to listen to it one time, but I heard what, when I heard what I heard, I already knew what it was about. And it really ain't about, you know, nothing, you know, that's teachable. That's worth teaching. It ain't, it ain't nothing that's worth teaching. All he trying to do is get people to look at Adam God in a bad way. That's all TDJ set out to do, is try to make Adam, you know, a bad person and God a bad spirit. And I can't believe that a man would set out to do that and then get on stage and, and pray. You know what I'm saying? Asking God for all this and faking. He got to be faking because he can't be real. He can't be asking no God because ain't no God out there for him but Adam God. And he know it because he, he didn't admit it. First time he heard me, he sit up there talking about Adam. Like, like I'm nasty or something. Adam. You know what I'm saying? Adam. Then he's like, where my man? Where my man? We ain't come to raise the dead. You know what I'm saying? All that shit. We ain't come to raise the dead, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Now you making up all kinds of excuses about servanthood and all that. Man, this sermon ain't nothing but just <laughs> TJ, you know what I'm saying? Getting on God's bad side. It just, just pushing him, locking his ass up forever in hell you know he already in hell it's just locking the key you know, just just locking the motherfucking lock this all it is locking the damn lock as well when seen and say they love you but they really let me go back because i don't want to hear that i gotta hear the real shit let me see because i don't want to miss shit go ahead only the new and sleep number smart beds let you both sleep at your ideal level of comfort your sleep number setting and now all of our new next gen smart beds complex it is self-explanatory in many ways in the amplified bible so i chose that way to present it this morning when you have it say amen you gotta have it because we, we're gonna put it on the screen for all you people who fake it and can't find philippians we save you from being a liar when we put it on the screen. I got it, Bishop, I got it. Over in Matthew, faking it. <laughs> Listen carefully. Do not merely look out for your own personal interest, but also for the interest of others. Have this same attitude in yourselves, which was in Christ Jesus. Look to him as your example in selfless humility, who although he existed in the form and unchanging essence of God as one with him, possessing the fullness of all the divine attributes, the entire nature of deity did not regard did not regard, did, did not. Okay, let me take over right here because I, I can't stand to listen to T.D. Jakes read no Bible because T.D. Jakes can't read no Bible. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to four. Look not to every man on his own things. You know what I'm saying? Meaning, you know, um, don't uh, look not to man on his own, you know, thinking about yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't think about just yourself. You know what I'm saying? But every man also think about the things of others. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't bragging on myself or nothing like that, but that's what God do, you know what I'm saying? 
he don't do nothing for just himself. You know what I'm saying? He don't. He ain't never been known to 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 stack up 18 million dollars and then it's broke people out there in the world and he got 18 million dollars like that's something that a god would do that's something a devil would do that ain't nothing a god would do get 18 million dollars for his goddamn self that ain't nothing a motherfucking god would do that's all devil all devil everybody that's that's got over a million dollars <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> ain't nothing but a devil he don't need over a million dollars don't no God need over a million dollars. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, listen to this, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. You know, T.D. Jackson ain't going to teach that to y'all, right? So I'm going to say it the way it's supposed to be said. Who being in the form of God thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant. You know what I'm saying? And God is a servant because God is love. And anytime God is love, God, love is a ser servant. You know, love is a, uh, is a, uh, Charity, you know what I'm saying? Charity is love, a form of love. You know what I'm saying? That's what God is, charity. God is servanthood, you know what I'm saying? Not T.D. Jakes. T.D. Jakes ain't never been no servant. He, he up here fussing now because he done lost all the servants and he want people to think of themselves as servants. That's why he almost said he going to, have a goddamn servant conference, you know, but he said if he have a servant conference, won't nobody come because everybody want to be a leader. And that's true. Everybody want to be a leader. And But he not the one to bring that point up because he is not a real leader himself. He been in that position, but only because he's satanic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they going to give it to Satan. They not going to give that position to a real true, true person, the Holy Ghost, and was made in the likeness of me. And being found in the fashion as a man humbled himself and became obedient to death, even the death of the cross. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to read that. You know what I'm saying? Wherefore God have highly exalted him, given him a name which is above every name. That All that is right there, I don't even appreciate that, this God. I don't appreciate them saying that about me, giving him a name which is above every name. I can't stand that. I can't stand that as God to be heard that that's a hypocrite. That, that makes me out to be a hypocrite giving me a name above every name. What, I'm a, I'm a sissy or something? You know what I'm saying? A hypocrite that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall, should bow, and you still got Adam, his daddy, got to come get it. You know what I'm saying? So how you going to pump Jesus up over his daddy that's going to come to get everybody, but that was the reason they made Romans 5, daddy, to discredit Adam, and discredit God, you, you discredit Adam, you discredit God. Because when Adam come to claim himself, you know God got to tell you that that's his name. Because God ain't nothing but a title. And Adam is God's name. So, you know, to come and, 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 um, and take your position as Adam, you got to take your position as God. You know what I'm saying? Of things in heaven and earth, things in earth and things under earth, that every tongue should confess Jesus Christ is Lord. You know, see, that's what I'm saying. They built you up on this Jesus Christ is Lord stuff so much to try to take Adam down, take Adam down to the glory of God the Father, seeing they 
keep Adam out of God the Father in a lot of places. You know, they only allow Adam to stay in where they think they can slip Adam in there where it won't look like, you know, Adam's name or nothing like that, and it won't look like they saying Adam God. You know what I'm saying? They try to keep y'all from knowing that Adam God, you know, so Adam would never find himself this God. Wherefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God which worketh in you both to will, you know what I'm saying? It is God that worketh in you both to will. It is God is your will. Now, when you go to doing wrong, you, you know God ain't your will. You know the devil is your will, both to will and to do his good pleasure. That's God. But what if you, uh, for it is the devil which work it in you both to will and to do bad things. You know what I'm saying? That's the way you put it for the devil. If you want to, if you know somebody the devil, then this don't apply to them. For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do his good pleasure. Because you know the devil don't do that. Do all things without murmurings in disputes. That murmuring and complaining is the thing that they told you you're going to do in Jude when they don't want to read about Adam. You know what I'm saying? They can't stand to read Jude. They skip 14, 15, and 16 automatically. That's going to tell them about themselves. That you may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation among whom you shine as lights in the world, holding forth the word of life that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, that I have run, I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. All that mercy and grace and forgiveness I showed, I didn't labor in vain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if I be offered upon the sacrifice and service of your faith, I joy and rejoice with you. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody. Uh, for the same cause also do you joy and rejoice with me. But I trust in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy shortly. Well, I don't even think T.D. is going to read that much. I ain't going to read that much, man. But the main part T.D. Jakes was reading was that right there. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go on and let him do his thing. I'm going to let him do his thing. I'm going to stomach him reading it, but I'm going to stop him if he ain't reading it right. Not regard equality with God a thing to be grasped or asserted as if he did not already possess it or was afraid of losing it. He wasn't intimidated. But empty. It ain't about being intimidated. It's, it, it wasn't about being intimidated to be God, TDJ. It was about him not lying like you. <laughs> like you and everybody else that say that a, if a man say he God, he lying. Ain't nobody God. That's what y'all say. You know what I'm saying? Jesus just simply didn't, didn't see no harm in calling himself God. Don't be sitting up there, you know, trying to say did not regard equality with God. Man, the other Bible didn't say all that. So you got this easy to read shit and all these big words it uh, it, it didn't even change nothing tdj it didn't change nothing the bible still stay the same that shit you talking about you know you don't even regard that shit you don't even listen to it like that but you know adam gonna read it out of the king james and you know adam gonna sound real when he said you can't copy adam so you gotta do it the 
American way, you know what I'm saying? Deed himself. He felt safe enough, strong enough to become vulnerable enough. No, shut up, man. He ain't come safe enough, strong enough to become vulnerable enough. You're a damn lie. You're a damn lie. Go on far with that on. Yeah. To the father, to the point of death, even the death on a cross. For this reason, also, because he obeyed and so completely humbled himself, God has highly exalted him and bestowed That's because he didn't judge in a cue. He didn't become the devil and let the devil possess him and judge and accuse like you, T.D. Jakes. He didn't start judging and accusing like you and other people do. You know what I'm saying? That's the only sin. You know, so don't be acting like Jesus was, you know, no different from Adam. You know what I'm saying? Jesus and Adam, the same person. You know what I'm saying? He just don't judge and accuse people. He just don't judge and accuse, but you do. You know what I'm saying? And Jesus did not judge and accuse. And stop putting the cross in Jesus' name. Man, just take the cross completely out of Jesus' name. Because God don't even look at no cross when he look at Jesus. He don't look at no damn cross. When he look at the cross, he look at y'all and he say, ain't none of them motherfuckers coming back that put him on that motherfucker. Now. Now, that's what I say. You know what I'm saying? That's what I come for. Two don't on him the name. The name. The name. The name which is above every name. So that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Now, why, how are you going to sit up there after Adam then came in 2009, showed you he was God, became God? He ain't never been up here with him. And then... Uh, the boss, Adam's boss, even came to him and said, God, out of all the motherfucking places you could have came to, you had to come to the earth. And TDJ, you heard that. I know you heard that. And I know the whole world heard it. You know, because that's all you talk about. Now, they didn't kill the firstborn son. As soon as, the, soon as that happened, you went around the goddamn pool plate talking about they didn't kill the firstborn son. They didn't kill the firstborn son. I watched the goddamn video you did. And then you sitting up there saying all loud as hell with God sitting up here trying to do his godly duties as Adam. You know what I'm saying? Because God named Adam. And my title, God. My, and then the other title is Christ. And the other title is Pet. You know what I'm saying? Them just titles. A man of many crowns, but my name, Adam, Adam Latroy Jackson. Shit, everybody knew that before I came back. You know what I'm saying? Sitting up there screaming. So that's the name of Jesus. Just like you said, where my money? Where my money? We ain't come to raise the dead. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh. Uh oh, in submission. Of those who are in heaven and on earth and under the earth and that every tongue will confess and openly acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord sovereign God to the glory of God the Father now why would we do that if Jude man let's go to Jude daddy let's go to Jude we don't get out of Philippians we don't need to go to no damn Philippians Look at no shit TDJ talking about. Go to Jude. How in the hell are you going to say Jesus? Man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just be blunt with y'all. I'm going to be blunt. I love Jesus because I'm Jesus. But I'm going to tell you, why would I cross daddy out <laughs> like TDJ? He just crossed daddy and God out. He don't give a fuck. He just crossed daddy and God out. Jude 14. Tell the goddamn truth, daddy. Tell the truth, daddy. Go ahead, tell. And Enoch also... Seventh from Adam prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousand of his saints 
to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed. That's what I'm here to do. And not just convince, but convict. And all their hard speeches, TJ, that you talked about me with behind my back, gossip, slander, sabotage, you know what I'm saying? And of all the hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. These are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lust, and their mouths speak great swelling words, judging and accusing, having men's persons in admiration like they regular because of advantage, but they the devil all in and without. That's just, you know, right there. Telling you right there. Enoch, seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord comes with 10,000 saints. Now read it again. Enoch, seventh from the Lord, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, Adam comes with 10,000 of his saints. You can say it either way. You know what I'm saying? Now why would... I be sitting up here listening to T.D. Jakes bragging on a Jesus that I came to pick up with y'all in the inside of. I come to pick y'all up in him. I ain't come to pick up him by himself. You know what I'm saying? As me. That'll be stupid. I came to pick up Jesus, but I came to pick up Jesus in everybody that is Jesus. And if you not Jesus, and if you not Adam, you wouldn't understand because only Jesus and Adam understand. It's, it's between me and you, Daddy, and Jesus and Adam. T.D. Jakes ain't got nothing in this. He ain't got shit in this. You know what I'm saying? Ain't got shit in this. That's why he'll sit up there and talk about every time we'll confess this and that and this and that. Because he retarded. You know what I'm saying? He, he just, he don't like daddy being daddy, man. And he don't like Adam being no 57-year-old that could tell him what the fuck to do and got more money than him. And he ain't got none because ain't no $18 million in American money. No goddamn more. If it is, it's cursed. You know what I'm saying? So you better not have that. I think you better call the and tell them you better throw that shit away. Because if you got it in your possession or under your motherfucking name, after t today, you blaspheming God, TDJ, for having $18 million after I told you ain't no prices on shit and the money from God was in the banks and it wasn't no, the, your, bank, your money wasn't no more good, anybody spending American money, wrong. But I'm not going to punish them. I'm punishing the leadership, the government, and the people out there giving the money to motherfuckers. The people paying people ungodly, unheavenly money because God ain't authorized that shit. And I ain't going to authorize it because I authorize inheritance, reward. I ain't authorized slavery, working for money no more. Can you say amen? amen. Let's pray while we're standing up under the banner, the canopy of his word. Everybody has a story. When you connect to humanity, what you realize is that those stories bring a lot of life. Are not popular today. Even we ourselves have a leadership conference, but we've never had a follower conference. I've never had a follower conference. I don't know anybody that's having a servant conference because who would come? because people are attracted to the idea of leadership, not servitude. You know, TDJ, we are leaders before we even born, TDJ. And see, we in a position right now, you know, I'm in a position right now to tell you that I would have been 
if you wouldn't be you and wasn't against God, I would have been one of your kids, 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 kids. One of your great, 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 great granddaughters. Or a greater. But man, I wouldn't come down and, and, and want to be born in your house, TDJ. I wouldn't want to be born to you as a grandchild. You know what I'm saying? I can choose from where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? I can choose from the heavens. Ten generations before I can look ten generations down and find, oh, that's TDJ. You want to be in a family? No, nah, man, he was the devil. You know what I'm saying? That was the devil. That was the one that messed up the resurrection in 2023 and brought God down. You know what I'm saying? So, nah, I wouldn't want to be in that family because then you have to go through that shit whenever that shit come back around. You know what I'm saying? So, like I say, TDJ, it's kids, 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 way that ain't even been reborn and born again because they ancestors that lived and died and was in wars and all that, that protect us and pray for us. And those are all grandkids who we have. The, the grandkids are usually you, your mama, your daddy, your grandmother, your grandfather. That's who usually the kids come back. They usually come right back. But every now and then, one might come from a long way off, like Adam did 2,023 years ago. Adam had to come from way back from the beginning and go 930, then do the 33, then keep y'all a thousand in him, he for Jesus. And then, you know, some of them was in Satan for a thousand, and then, you know, that's 1963. Then we came back 1963, you know, the devil, you know, you know he was out of and loose. And then he stayed loose till 1986, and that's when we started the war. And, shit. and you know, people started preaching 1986, like TDJ. Shit, 1986, he say he, well, I ain't gonna say he say he started in 1986. Well, that's his anniversary of something. 19, that's the anniversary of Satan loose. 1986 so I don't know what his anniversary is because if he 37 years from the time Satan was loose in 86 that's his anniversary and he started preaching when he was 19 years old then it don't match up that 19 and he's 66 66 minus 19 you know what I'm saying ain't no army age you know what I'm saying to be going in no army you know what I'm saying? I know the difference between all that. See, TDJ, what you fail to realize, I in you and you in me is a good thing. Because I know you better than you know you, and you think you know me better than I know me, which you don't. But all you know is good out of me. <laughs> and I don't know nothing but bad out of you. You know what I'm saying? I don't know nothing but bad, and I don't care to come around you and learn nothing good because I have to go through a whole bunch of fucked up lies to hear something good about you. And that I got to go through a whole bunch of lies of what you didn't do to me. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't apologize. And it's no apology. Even if you did out your mouth, I couldn't believe it because I know your heart, TJ. That what I search the heart. <clears throat> But number one, if everybody's leading, <laughs> who's following? Everybody's supposed to be a leader, man. Everybody get made love to be made. You are created gods. Made loves. Made gods. God is love. You are made gods. They make love. They make God. You know what I'm saying? Making love is making gods. You know what I'm saying? Because God is love. You know what I'm saying? And if you're going to be God, you got to be love. You can't be coming in as God, lying, saying you ain't, and living a bogus-ass, lying-ass life. 
and everybody living that same bogus lying ass life. You know what I'm saying? Saying they ain't God, like T.D. Jason and then trying to keep people, all the motherfuckers that serve as slaves for your ass. Hell no, it don't work like that, T.D. J. Uh-uh. We made love. We got to be what we made of. Shit, we made God. Oh, goddamn, we made God. We know what expected of God. We know what we expect from God. So I expect that out of everybody that I run up on. I expect God to come from Because I expect them to know I'm God when they walk up on me. But if they following that lie and they keeping that lie in their heart and they know me, they going to throw that lie out there. Because that's what they want to live, by that lie. Ain't nobody God, so I don't have to listen to you. Or I don't have to respect you. Or I don't have to speak to you. You know what I'm saying? That's y'all dumbass ways of following your devil. Lying and got everybody lying saying they ain't God. Ain't got to have no leader. And so we all like to think of ourselves in a certain light because we don't want the vulnerability of not being number one. So if you want to wreck a church real quick, use something like a subject like I'm the one. I supposed to, T.D. Jason, if I'm Adam, I supposed to. If I, if I got to bring, if I got to come back, listen. No, I'll go here, daddy, go here, shit. Let's just take him to the goddamn, since he want to be a damn fool and want to act like he retarded, take him to the retarded places. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. Taking the first Corinthians 15, daddy, 15, and then take him and read the whole thing to him. You know what I'm saying? Because he retarded, man. You know he retarded. You know he retarded. All right, 15, 20. Okay, but now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection. Uh, of the dead. For as in Adam all die. I explained that in my book. You know what I'm saying? As in Adam all die. We all Adams. Even so, in Christ shall all be made alive because we all, Jesus said, Holy Father, keep them through your name, not mine, so they may be one as we are. So now we are in Adam's name, back in Adam's name. Because in the beginning, uh, Genesis 5, God said, you know, and their names were Adam in the day when they were created. So everybody named Adam, everybody named Adam. So that's why the Bible said, Adam, in Adam all die. It ain't because he sinned or nothing like that. It ain't because he ate the fruit and died. That ain't the reason. All die in Adam. All die as Adam because all was made a Adam. That's it. That's it. It ain't because he sinned because God ain't give a damn about that sin. That was no sin. God ain't called Adam no lie. Not one time. He broke the devil down and put him on his goddamn belly and he slithered all the goddamn time. Ain't got no backbone and I can make your ass that again too, TDJ. Quicker than a motherfucker, just like putting an arm on a man, or starting a truck, or fixing a knee, or putting a leg on a motherfucker that he didn't have now. But every man in his own order, Christ the first fruit, afterwards they that are Christ at his coming. That say this Jesus, not knowing the name of, hiding like some punk. Then cometh the end. When he, Jesus, shall have delivered the kingdom to God, even the father, Adam, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and all power. For he must reign, Adam, till Adam have put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. And I did that when I first came, Daddy. Daddy, everybody alive, Troy heaven. Daddy, everybody all right, Troy home. And dead, 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 daddy, dead is, daddy, everything all right. Delivered. So death, 
dead too. So we just born again, crazy ass, having fun, motherfucking now. And when all things shall be subdued to him, then shall the Son also himself, all those that are Christ, be subject to him, Adam, that put all things under him, that God may be all in all. Now, see, that's what I'm talking about right there, TDJ. I'm supposed to be the only one. I'm supposed to be the only one. I'm supposed to come here and say that. I can't save y'all if I don't. Then everybody be running around. We'll have a goddamn war. Everybody trying to say they the only one. They the God. You can't do that. Ain't but one shepherd. You know that from the Bible. And ain't but one way. Ain't but one door. Ain't but one gate. And that's Adam LaTroy Jackson. I'm the one said. He ain't never been a real winner. I'm the one said. I'm God. You ain't. <laughs> you can't do it. Because you ain't went from air to being a man. You can't just change. And change back like me. Now that's just the truth. Out of eight billion people on the planet, you the one. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Out of eight billion people in the in the planet, I'm the one. You got damn right, GDJ. You got damn right. I'm the one that's God. Adam. How come I'm not? You explain to me why I'm not. Why I'm not. I ain't going to let you, I ain't going to give you a chance to explain to me why I'm not. Because I'm not going to sit up here and listen to a stupid ass sermon that don't make no sense. That not even retarded people supposed to be able to listen to. Man, I wouldn't get this to somebody to just start them off on nothing. You not nothing to teach, nothing. Man, I can't send a, a group of little kids around you. They was going around talking about my ex-wife was going around talking about don't talk to other people's kids. Man, she know she was the devil, just like you the devil going around lying on me like a motherfucking, like, you know, you the one, you and her got that. Man, I broke that curse and it'll never happen to me again in this life. Oh, uh, ain't no next, cause I already died twice. So ain't no in this life and the next for me. I'm already here, I'm already on the other side. You gotta die and be born again, fella. And I'm judging you now. You know what I'm saying? I could listen to the sermon and, and, and fuck you up all goddamn. All the, yeah, go on and do that. <laughs> we like to think of ourselves in that light because we have been taught to be enamored by success. Consequently, servanthood is unpopular even with children. I know I sound old, but I grew up in an era where the children were the dishwasher. I heard somebody say their mama didn't have no dishwasher. My mama had five. <laughs> Three, yeah, I got had five. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were the dishwasher. Servanthood was inbred in the nature of how we were raised. Now your little ooty booty is too cute I'm allergic to soap suds, mommy. Now, when have you seen Adam allergic to work? Adam did work for free for y'all. Y'all stole all Adam's money, TDJ. You and Union Carbide and Dow Chemical and Phillips 66 and all them ruined Adam life, stole all his money, took double time away from him, the money that he was making when he thought he was doing something, broke his family life up. Kept him away from home 12 and 16 hours, working 12, seven days a week, messed his life up. And you sitting up there talking about, uh, uh, I don't think I need to work. I think you got me wrong. You talking about God. You talking about anybody now. I'm everybody now. When you talk about anybody right now, TDJ, you talking about Adam. And Adam ain't never went without a job since he graduated high school. Since he was 11 years old, I take that back, this Uncle Pitt. Because when he wasn't in the rice field with me, he was at that water company cleaning the building with Aunt Sue. He was at them houses cleaning buildings with Margaret, Hazel, Kay Lee and them when he got big. Well, no, he didn't. He didn't go with Kay Lee, but he did go with Margaret. Shit. 
and, and Hazel. So, you know, Troy has been working all his life, and everything that work is about is in Troy's name. A-T and A, I mean, uh, T, what is it, uh, T-S-T-I? That was Adam shit. T-S-T-I was Adam shit the first life. Adam just passed it up. And in this life, he just passed it up. You know, he wasn't supposed to stop there and own it. But he built it before the second, first life was up. Stupid ass. You don't even know nothing about heaven or nothing. You don't know nothing about us. You don't know that you being judged by kids that's in like the tenth generation of people who then died and just don't want to be human again. You know what I'm saying? They just ancestors that love being in heaven that go down and become born again in people. You know what I'm saying? And you got like a billion generations up there. You know what I'm saying? That's been born again, born again, born again. And we just tired of the rat race. You know what I'm saying? But this 2023, we stopping through. All we doing is stopping through these days. Adam ain't never been without a job, but I know you have because you ain't worked since you've been on this, doing this, since God gave you this, you know, and this ain't no job because Adam do this for free. So I, I can't call your job no job. You know, this is something that you do for free. This is something that Adam did on a tape recorder for free ever since 2009. Since 96, Adam been teaching for free. So I, I don't I don't know why you got eighteen million dollars stacked up. That's real devilish to have eighteen million dollars when you got a man that ain't got a goddamn dime from YouTube because of you and you sitting up there talking about your boy died from uh, a stroke and he was your head man working on the computers. If he had anything to do with any sabotage, you know, coming against Adam, that's why he died of that stroke, TDJ. Not because, you know, God just took him or it was this and that. It was because of you working for you. A lot of people going to die working for you, TDJ. And we are not taught to be servants. Words like submission are, are, are the disdain for the word submission has exceeded cursing words. If you don't believe it, get on, get on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram and say something about submission and watch everybody beat you up. <laughs> Caregivers aren't seen often in a positive light. Disdain for it. Nobody wants to give care. Everybody wants to receive care. There is today a bloodlust for power. In almost every area of now, TDJ, you know you the only one that's got a blood lust for goddamn power. You right now, you and Creflo Dollar and Bill Winston is the only ones I hear that's got a blood lust for power. Now I do he see some of these commercials lying about how they can give you some money right now. But then other than that, TDJ, y'all the only one, y'all preachers. Is the only one want some power since y'all against Adam. Y'all the only one want the power. So what you sitting up here preaching this to us? What we need to hear it for? Why we need to learn something that's your fucking problem? That's what I want to know. Why we need to learn your problem? You the one need to be healed from that shit. You the one, the devil. We we ain't the devil. You are. Of our society, we have gone nuts for power. Nobody's for people anymore. They want power. It ain't that TDJ. Ever since 2009, when I said he ain't never been up here with us, you turn against God just like John Vaslavic, Ernest Ramirez, and everybody else in the world just automatically turned against God and became a devil. You know what I'm saying? Turned against the Lord and became a devil. Soon as Adam went in office, because Adam was the one went in office, not President Barack Obama. Barack Obama might have been one of the ones in Adam screaming with God saying, 
he ain't never been up here with us because he had made president and where were you when all the morning stars sang together i bet your fat ass ain't see a motherfucking word because you wasn't a part of it you know what i'm saying i would i would they want to make moves they want to be movers and shakers from corporations to marriage everybody's fighting for power nobody's submitting the husbands aren't submitting the wives aren't submitting the children aren't submitting nobody's submitting because submission is not popular and everybody's in no one tell it like it is tell the truth and shame the devil that everybody letting the devil possess him tdj tell the truth be honest y'all letting the devil possess y'all the accuser of the brother you got to be an accuser to uh don't want to serve and want to be lazy want to you know um take stuff that ain't yours and stuff like that and fight for power you know what i'm saying you got to be the devil tell the truth man tell the truth who the devil is tell the truth who you is tdj in a fight to prove to the other one that i'm the one so in that fight we end up with no one you're damn you're damn like you still got at him you still got at him tdj without tdj ain't gonna miss no goddamn beat adam still gonna teach the world for free you know what i'm saying i'm gonna still have money that i'm giving y'all but i'm gonna still be teaching for free because all that money ain't gonna do nothing for me but just sit in a motherfucking bank like your 18 million my z is gonna be just sitting in there and just whatever people need i'm gonna pick up the tab on you know that's all that's all everything free all you gotta use is your driver's license and your id card from now on i'm making that i don't need no banks all you need is your id card and your driver's license i'm gonna bring that in the art <laughs> Oh, I'm going to mess with you today. I didn't expect to get many amens. I'm, I'm hoping for a few ouches. When you start talking about careers, people are only interested in seeking protection so that they can climb the ladder. In corporations, in businesses, everybody's trying to get higher. How high can I go? What promotions are available? What can I do next? I want to go up. Everybody wants to go up. Ain't that the way we supposed to do this first Sergeant McMillan, TDJ, from the Army? That you faking like you from the military with that military uniform on that you don't respect. You're going to see that in a minute. That you don't respect the goddamn uniform. I'm going to tell you how I told you before. You don't respect no damn military uniform. You damn sure don't respect God. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wants to go down. Everyone wants to be higher. Everybody wants to be bigger. Everybody wants to be greater. And no matter what method we choose, whether it's the best looking, the best dress, the best style, the best this, the best that, the most educated, the most intellectual, the most articulate, everybody's trying to get further along than the people beside them because all that is average. That's what's up, man. You you supposed to know your job good. Everybody's supposed to know their job just as well or better than the man on the side of because that's the only way we're gonna get something done on the job everything got to be a hundred percent i'm a welder tdj and when i was a welder everything i done had to be a hundred percent visual and x-ray you know i couldn't go and just put no bullshit in there and if it didn't pass i keep my job i had to pass every x-ray to keep a job tdj and i had to pass every visual you know what i'm saying so my job i had to get better and better every day ain't no such thing as you know getting the job and just staying somebody that don't come up and pass nobody up or be better than nobody or be good man what are you preaching man what are you trying to teach us how to want to be less than that's what I hear from you now, is you teaching us 
that we should want to be servants and less than and we shouldn't want to get better on our jobs. That's all I hear you saying right now. I don't hear you teaching us nothing about being gods or being godly because we gods. I don't need, I don't hear, you came in talking about Jesus uh, didn't see it, no, you know, uh, didn't see nothing wrong with uh, uh, being equal to God. But what happened? Now you done went to over here talking about who ain't working for you and don't nobody want to work for you no more. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about, man. This is all you trying to do, trying to get somebody to feel less than you so they can goddamn go to work for you and you can stay up on top and keep that 18 million. But it's gone, But That altar toe down you got. I don't even see it no more. Advertised to us is grandeur and opulence and excessiveness. And so here we are in a fight between political powers, between races, between family members, between genders. It's a fight. I don't know whether you noticed it or not. It's a war going on between men and women. We used to like each other want to get with each other now we've turned our you know that's true man i used to i used to like listening to td jakes you know what i'm saying before i started listening to td jakes heart when i got in td jakes heart and saw what was in it and heard him come against me and kill me blaspheme kill me sabotage me then told me yeah i sabotage you you know what I'm saying? Talking about, where my money? Where my money? We ain't come to raise dead. Yeah, I sabotage you. And I could have helped you, but I wanted you to lose your opinion. Shh. You know that ain't no goddamn good. Our guns on each other. God help us to have some children because we, we're. Ain't no children gonna fight for your ass. Ain't no children gonna fight for your ass, TJ. It will not never be an army formed up to follow your fat ass. You know what I'm saying? No, it won't. You'll never get that many people to want to go to war with you because ain't nothing that serious. God ain't going to come and put nothing on the people that that's that serious against the people. God ain't going to never come against the people to make them want a war against him. God love the people. You don't, devil. Shit, you trying to make them servants. Oh, and, 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 and the church. You trying to keep us slaves, nigga. That's all you trying to do. You trying to keep slavery alive, nigga. You trying to keep your fat ass with people working for you. You gonna come out and say it in a minute. It's not exempt from this. <laughs> there is an insatiable desire amongst many, even in the church, for status, titles, and recognition. And to get it, they'll do anything say anything, undermine anybody, kill your reputation, destroy your influence, go after you by any means. Ain't that what you done to Adam T.D. Jakes and you done a whole lot more, you and Dow Chemical and Philip 66 and all them companies and the government that you got behind your 501c3 against Adam God. You know what I'm saying? So what you sitting up there talking about it like, you against, I mean, like God against you or something. Ain't nobody against you. You the one against God. You the one against God. All them people right there, ain't none of them people. You know what I'm saying? All them people, you know what I'm saying? They on God's side. But you, T.D. Jay, against God. You know what I'm saying? So you the only one that's got the problem. God ain't got no problem. He love them people. But you don't. Because you teaching them wrong. Lying on me. You know what I'm saying? It's God. Necessary so that they can get to the top. And I'm starting to wonder if there is any substantial difference between the church and the world because everybody is trying to get up. Nobody's trying to get down. And why 
why would you want to go down? Man, that, that's what I'm saying. Why are you trying to teach somebody to go down, nigga? Ain't nobody going down to bow down at your motherfucking feet, fat ass devil. Ain't nobody going to bow down to you and do no work for you, nigga. You ain't nobody working for you no more. That's out, man. You a devil, nigga. You the wrong thing to work for, nigga. You the wrong doer. You got to send this shit. And <laughs> now you get yourself out. Shit. Nobody's trying to be low. Ain't nobody going to be low for you, man. Ain't nobody going to. You can't teach us to be low, man. Even when we do the right things, we often do them for the wrong reasons. Oh, I'm after you this morning. <laughs> we do right things for the wrong reasons. To be sure, those who put others' needs above their own often do the right thing, but they do it for the wrong reasons because they want to medicate low self-esteem. And they do so to their own detriment. They become people pleasers in the hopes that they will get something back from the people that they seek to please. No, they don't. They are, you a damn lie. You a goddamn lie, TDJ. Adam ain't never asked the motherfucker that he was nice to for nothing back. Adam ain't never asked. You could ask any wife I ever dealt with. You could ask any friend I ever had. You could ask any coworker I ever had. You could ask anybody, did I ask them to be any kind of way for me? Or was I going to change and not be that same good person? Man, I wasn't no people pleaser for nobody's, you know, uh, to be pleased by nobody or to please people. I, I did it just to be nice. I ain't never been a people pleaser. You just a fat ass, devil ass liar. You the people pleaser. That validates their own existence. They are self medicating their pain by false missions of humility. No, it ain't false missions of humility. It's just goddamn being good to people, you know, being humble. Being good to people is being humble. TDJ's trying to take being humble and saying being humility is wrong now. Now we devils, cause we humble. And humility is bad to him. It's bad for business for him. Cause he the devil. My humbleness, my humility is bad for his business. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm pleasing people to Heal something in my body. He a fat ass devil lie. Stop lying. Shit. Because they think so little of themselves. Yeah, you think so little of yourself, so you do that, that shit. That they do the right thing. You ain't never did But it's for the wrong reason. You ain't never did the right it thing. It isn't their service that is toxic. You they give them. great service. For it is the motive for the wrong reason. of being people pleasers. That is the problem. The antithesis, however, is we have become so against being people pleasers that we no longer serve. We seek only to be served. We have this vision, this idea, this philosophy that being. Now, when have you seen Adam stop working, TDJ? After he left the well and he started working for me. And you know what kind of job he doing for me. And you know it's paying off. Oh, shit, it's paying off. And it ain't paying off with no money. But it's damn sure killing everything evil. Just like raiding off. It's doing its job. It's just going to take a little while. And, and shit just going to start falling. Motherfuckers who think daddy let, you know, love be love for motherfuckers that don't love and Motherfuckers breathe fresh air, you know, for motherfuckers that don't be, give a damn about the air. You know what I'm saying? We're going to see what, what, what's what. You know what I'm saying? When God do his thing. Serve to elevates us into positions of... 
how can I stop working? I'm the air you breathe, nigga. I'm the air you breathe. I, I'm the one that make the heart beat. I'm the atom. I'm the first spark. Everything you say against right now that you're trying to say out of 8 billion people, I think I'm the only one. Goddamn, I'm Adam, man. And it was meant for to be here. My daddy was born 1945. I was supposed to be Barack Obama. 44th and 45th president. Now, my mama, she was born in 48. You know what I'm saying? So I am the 47th and 48th president. And I'm the 46th president right now as by then. By then. That's what you're going to hear, TJ. By then. You know what I'm saying? By then. Ain't going to be no by then like you. That's what you got me on since 2009. But we're going to keep him and we're going to fuck over him for 20 years. By then, he might forget. No, motherfucker. By then, I'm going to beat him set. Like next year. By then. You know what I'm saying? By then. <laughs> Shit, I'm gone. Shit. Of authority. And so if we can't have that, we would rather be alone. Oh, nigga, see how you gonna tell us? See how he's trying to curse God and Adam. Talking about if, if we can't be the main authority, then we'd rather be alone. Oh man, you just a motherfucking devil, boy. You the you the biggest devil and the and the most bullshitted devil, cause you ain't no real. See, you little entity, a god or an angel or something. He could be a riddler, a joker, or you know just you know musician. You ain't got no goddamn, you ain't got nothing but just TDJ and the devil. That's all you got, the devil. The devil built your whole thing because ain't none of God in nothing you did all these years. Because God wasn't in the business in uh, 1986. He was in the business in 1986, but he was in the business of getting rid of Satan. You know what I'm saying? Not giving you something to have an anniversary of the devil was loose. That's the day you and Creflo Dollar had y'all anniversary. Both y'all got the same anniversary. Didn't serve anybody. We would rather be lonely and alienated and go to bed every night hugging our pillow rather than to serve anybody. And the now, how, you, how you think Adam is not serving y'all right now telling them tricks of the devil? Tearing down your altar. That's my job, is to tear down your altar. You know what I'm saying? That's my job. I'm at my job, T.D. says, I don't know about you. I'm at my. Children cannot learn how to serve because they cannot be what they do not see. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Somehow it has been made more significant in our minds to meet a ravenous need for acceptance. This, this, this kind of uh, good deeds and service giving uh, is, is fictitious, is phony, it's fraudulent. How you gonna say being good to people is phony, fictitious, and you, that's and false. How you gonna sit up there and say that, TDJ? You're a goddamn liar. Good service ain't no phony and fictitious thing. Doing good to people is not fictitious and phony. You're a fat-ass, devil-ass liar. You're a damn liar, TDJ. You're a damn liar. It, 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 it's, it's, it has a, a, a negative be motive all, behind it because it seeks grandeur by doing to make acts of service like in the you. spirit of manipulation. And I just ass out. I found that one motherfucker. Out of eight billion, I found the devil. This is an exercise in total futility because people will eventually come to see your kindness as weakness. They will use you. I know you will, TDJ. That's what you did. And that's why you sitting here being judged now because you took my kindness for weakness. You took Adam God's kindness for weakness. That's why you here being judged on the ju in the judgment seat now. Till they use you up and it still won't elevate you to the place that you need to be. 
I did, know I ought to get an A. It did. It, it got me where I need to be, but the TD Jakes ain't where I need to be because he still got people telling me at the bank I can't get no goddamn truck. But then I ain't worried about that. I don't want shit from him or that bank. And I damn sure don't care if I get a truck or not. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm going to get one. But I, I really don't give a damn if I get one or not. And it's going to curse everybody who had a chance to get me one. <laughs> shit. Uh -huh. Man right there. Yeah, right there. Right there. Servitude cannot be done for what you can get out of it. For how you can be acknowledged or how you can be recognized or how you can be validated by it. You cannot medicate uh, a, a low self-esteem, a fear, uh, a vulnerability by hiding your vulnerability, by acting like you care about people, but you really don't. You really just want to be seen in a certain light. Man, why are you sitting up here lying on Adam and God and other people who really... <laughs> want to, you know, help people and be there for people. That's why we do it free, TDJ. We don't do it and sit up there and say serve the people expecting money to come in our hand. You know what I'm saying? We don't expect to, you know, go over $18 billion, $18 million. You know what I'm saying? We ain't worth, we worth, shit, all the money in the world. But then to put it on paper, Adam ain't even in goddamn the on the internet. Google ought to know everything about Adam Jackson, the worker that Dow Chemical murdered. They should know everything about Adam Jackson and Kent Green and the and the murder they did. They should know everything about how they lied to judges and people and got wives and ex-wives to go against him and you know, blaspheme God, turning to devils and shit like that. Man, you ain't did shit, but kill yourself, TJ. And ain't no grandkid coming down here to be yours. This the grandkids, 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 and we ain't coming. <laughs> shit, whatever you see, that's all you gonna get. We ain't moving in your motherfucking place. <laughs> The real test is would you do it if nobody was looking? I do it all the time. Man, I do it all the time. Jesus, I do it all the time. I do it all the time. Would you do it with the lights off and the cameras gone? Then you, then you, don't you remember 2009 to goddamn, from 2009 to about 2015, I was 17. No, 15. I was talking on a voice recorded, TDJ. With no audience, nobody listening to me, nobody up, nobody on the phone, nobody. I was just talking to myself. But you got every word. You know what I'm saying? So don't lie on God and say God can't do it by itself. Did it too long. Would you do it if the boss didn't see you? I'm not worried about the people who serve in this church when I'm here. I'm not worried about the people who come to church when I'm here. I am. Nigga, what kind of serving do you uh, expect from the people? What kind of serving do you expect your people to do for you when they not at, at church? What kind of serving? Bl uh, blaspheming people name, God using what you say to go and gossip in other people's lives and use the witchcraft you teach them and all the little excuses you teach them to bring somebody else down from you know being royalty and loyalty to bring them down to a servant or less than you know a bum or nothing don't nobody want to be a servant no more man that's just like you preaching that sermon about uh Satan and not you know uh uh dubbing it and letting us hear it again. You didn't want us to hear it. You really didn't want us to hear this either. But what you say next is Suspect of people who only do it when I'm here. You couldn't be doing it for the right reason if you only do it when I'm looking. I'm not worried about the staff member who performs well when seen. 
and say they love you but they really don't love you because they're really killing you because the only way they will do their job by which they get paid for all the time see that's the problem that's the problem T -T -T, you want somebody to be a slave and you want to be able to pay somebody i ain't gonna give you that right to pay nobody no more and you not no boss that I want somebody working under. You not no boss, TDJ. You the devil, nigga. You a serpent. You a serpent. You need to be on your motherfucking back, slithering, backwards, with no motherfucking eyes, just a motherfucking tail. Eating through your asshole, nigga. That's what you need to be. That's what you need to be. Burning as motherfucking um, tail. That's what you need to be. You was planted by the devil. You wasn't planted by no God. And God ain't bringing you. You said you made it the second time. You made it the same. You won't make it a third time. You might have made it last time we did this. But you ain't gonna make it this time. That's why everybody was telling me to shut up. You know, me and Tia Pick to shut up. Before he get to who he really is. You know what I'm saying? Now, you, gonna, you better tell T.D. Jakes shit. Is when you're looking. Yeah. I'm going to set it off in here this morning. Real servitude must come from a sincere place, an authentic place of strength. I know you don't associate servitude with strength, but you have to be strong to serve. Uh, yeah. you know, now, what you trying to teach is you gotta be strong to serve. <laughs> he sure digging in there trying to get y'all to wanna be less than him. <laughs> he, he trying to do all he can to get y'all to desire wanna be less than the devil. Less than T.D. Jakes is less than the devil. Cause that's who he is. He ain't nothing but skeleton with my meat on it with my meat and blood. That's it. He ain't got nothing else. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna shock you with this. I know you think all the people who are serving are serving either because they're ignorant or because they're stupid or because they're weak and they should have got more this or more that or they should have been more ambitious or more degrees or more education or more this or that or the other. But you have to be strong to serve. Y'all to be servants, man. Do not allow the menial tasks that we do to blind you of the absolute strength it takes to give yourself away. Because that nigga not no goddamn servant his damn self. So when are you a servant, T.D. Because you damn sure ain't serving nobody. You get paid, nigga. You work and get paid. Like you was telling somebody else. You don't do shit when people got their back. When God got his back turned, right now God got his back turned. And you on that straight. God got his back turned. You thought you was doing that without me watching because I stayed away from your channel. If I'd have stayed on your channel, you would have erased the shit that I would have, would have, would have, uh, would have, would have copied. You'd have got it where I couldn't see it. But I kept this. I just got off the channel and let it record because I know how you will. If I watch your shit, plus, you know, your man that, you know, couldn't help you. You know what I'm saying? Remember, he died of a stroke. Remember, he couldn't help you sabotage me on this one. You know what I'm saying? You have to have strength, and you have to feel safe enough to become vulnerable enough to be of service to others. And the reason some people will never serve is because they're too weak to serve. See him telling y'all y'all too weak to serve is his, his ass, his devilish ass, trying to make you feel like you need to be a servant. Ain't no servants, man. We all gods. Big G's too. Ain't no such thing, no little G. Little G a devil. Anybody call themselves a little G or anybody else a little G or devil? And a baby is a big G God. Ain't no such thing as a little G God. Oh man, big G God. Ain't no such thing. God is God. Paper, paper. You know what I'm saying? Paper gonna be paper if paper got down. As long as paper, 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 paper. 
but you know paper wood made from wood but paper still paper you know what i'm saying because they're afraid if they lay it down they'll never get it back so they would rather fight you for the position than serve you because that's they're weak. That's what you're doing, T.D.J. That's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. It's you really don't weakness. You don't say. I you know what I'm saying? You, you calling people that don't want to serve you weak. Man, let me tell you something, T.D.J. We're not going to serve you no more. You're not the one that we need to be serving. We need to be serving Adam God and Adam God alone. And you don't have to serve me. But Adam God, you're going to call my name. You know what I'm saying? This God. My name, Adam. And my title, God. In Christ, not me. Jesus, I come to save. I'm the Savior. He, my son. He told me they going to hate you because they hated me first. He didn't tell T.D. Jakes that. He told me, Adam, God, they going to hate me because they hated him first. He wasn't talking to you, T.D. Jakes. He said, you the one going to hate me. I've learned over the years that arrogant people are the weakest people I have ever met. Now you're going to call somebody arrogant. Now, since y'all don't want it, he, 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 he can't make you uh, say something about serving him. You know what I'm saying? He going to say, now we arrogant. We too arrogant. And he ain't talking about none of the envy and strife and murmuring and complaining and everything that was said in Jude, him and his preachers is. You know what I'm saying? Him and his people is. He ain't said nothing about that. You know what I'm saying? They are arrogant because beneath that disguise, that's why I wore this camouflage, the be beneath this camouflage, and I like it and I think it's cute, but, you know what I'm talking about. I like it and I think it's cute. Can you see that motherfucker marching in a formation with that uniform on? Talking about <laughs> twisting and shit. That's what I'm talking about. Ain't nobody gonna say no army uniform, military uniform, military issue, and he calling it something cute. It's cute. Man, you don't even tell a, a boy child he cute. Are his clothes cute? And he a grown ass man in an army uniform, deserving it, talking about it's cute. He like it because it's cute. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. We don't hear no more of this. He just, all his sermon today about is, uh, was about Sunday, was about yesterday, was about, uh, Day before yesterday, because I'm on, it's 4.33 in the morning. He's talking about, can you do it? Can you work for God when ain't nobody looking? Nigga, I do this shit all the time. Shit, I ain't never been off in my life. Shit, I don't think shit. Shit, I've been working for God whatever I did in my life. Shit, when I thought I was trying to be slick, you know what I'm saying? I was still working for God, shit. I would I ain't never been bad to nobody I ever dealt with. Shit, I just work for God in a little slick away when I need to get over on somebody. I need to go somewhere where I don't want nobody to know where I'm going, then I might tell a lot and say, oh, I'm going so-and-so and so and end up going so-and-so and so and so. But then, you know, it's just a little, you know, I'm just being me, you know what I'm saying? I don't need everybody in my business. You don't never call a military uniform. You, you're a soldier. You wouldn't have even said no shit like that. I think it's cute. <laughs> That's a goddamn shame. He thinking a military or army soldier <laughs> is dressed in a cute uniform. That's a goddamn shame. Man, go on, on man, because the only thing your sermon is about today is trying to make somebody feel good to be and want to be a servant and want to go back to work for y'all low-down asses. And the reason we ain't working, TDJ, 
ain't because we don't want to work TD Jets. It's because y'all motherfuckers, John Vaslavic and Ernest Ramirez and all them motherfuckers, man, they ain't paying nobody right. Man, they pay their friends and their family members what they supposed to be paying y'all. And they give y'all just whatever the fuck they want to give y'all just so you just say you got a paycheck. They ain't trying to give you top pay or they ain't trying to be fair with you as four, four, four. They ain't trying to be fair with you. The job, man, you know them motherfuckers ain't paying nobody work they wages. And the Bible tell you that you mess over the hiring of day wages. And the Bible tell you that. So don't be sitting up here telling us we don't want to work because we lazy. And we don't want to work because we don't want to be no servant. Stop lying and just be honest and tell the truth. You ain't never paid nobody right. And ain't nobody ever got more than $12 an hour from no motherfucking church. Or no goddamn Walmart or nothing like that. Y'all still paying motherfuckers, you know. 725 and shit. That's why we don't want to work for your ass. We want what God got and let heaven pay for everything. Fuck you, fat ass motherfucker. The Bible say, ask anything in my name and you shall receive it. Motherfucker, listen to that scripture. Ask anything in my name and you shall receive it. What, TDJ? What? Every day, people are asking stuff in God's name, Jesus' name. Adam asked, and Adam asked every day in Jesus' name, God's name. Mm -mm, you don't give him a motherfucking thing. <laughs> That's why I say fuck you, TDJ. And I say that why you're going to burn in hell, man. You ain't nothing but the tears that were planted <laughs> by the devil. I know you felt that, goddamn. I ain't gonna tell you no more. Talking about your uniform, cute. Ain't good shit. How you grown that man sitting up there? That's why I say when we was in base track, I know that was him. Yeah, oh man, come on, man. And then he called him the uniform, cute. Oh man, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? You know I told you, man. He, that dude that was in the garden, and that was the one that said, did God say you wasn't supposed to eat the, off the tree in the garden? And he said, yeah, God did say we, we, we could eat in the garden, but we couldn't eat off this tree in the middle of the garden. And he said, oh, girl, shoes. God, God, you're not going to surely die. You know, God just don't want you to know the day you eat of it. Your eyes gonna be open and you gonna be as God. See, that's what he said. And then you started to shit and now you don't want us to be gods. Now we, out of 8 billion people, God show up, he can't be God. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man, be real, man. Be real. And thank you for that smile, Tori and your wife. And I don't know if y'all really smiling at it, but that should make your daddy laugh right there, because I ain't doing nothing but telling the truth. I'm going to get off this day, man. This God, man. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Love, love y'all, man. This love, this God, man. And you know what? If you made love, man, you know what is expected of you. If somebody made love to make you, you love that we made. And God is love. That's what you will. And all y'all kids need to hear that. I know everybody hear me now. Babies. <laughs> Third and fourth generation, tenth generation, all y'all listening right now. All y'all that's ready to be born again. Come on in us. Come. You know what I'm saying? That's where we at. You know, it ain't all about no Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? But it is about Jesus Christ because we made it. And all y'all that are Christ are in me. You know what I'm saying? So this Adam, I did my job. I'm finished. I'm the Savior. Y'all got saved. You know, and Jesus Christ was the teacher. And he saved too. And he was a savior too. But, you know, I'm going to get off this thing and talk to y'all later. Love, love y'all. I love y'all and I'll talk to y'all later.